We convened this year's Praxis Conference at a time of major challenges. On the external environment front, the sand of global trade is shifting amid new geopolitical configurations, undermining the export-led growth model that many countries, including Malaysia, depend on. The climate emergency looms over the horizon, making its consequences felt, yet ostensibly far enough to give some a false sense of comfort. Domestically, our population continues to age rapidly, threatening to expose the gaps in existing social and care services. Meanwhile, our online spaces remain adulterated with harmful content. Online scams, hate speech, disinformation, so on and so forth. Against this backdrop, technological advancement is proceeding at breakneck pace, posing pertinent questions of what lies ahead. For example, how do we leverage generative artificial intelligence for our future of work, while mitigating the ever-present risk of a widening digital divide. Similarly, how do we ensure a clear regulatory environment that stimulates innovation while cutting off avenues for abuse? What these varied challenges and questions have in common is the transformative role that public policies can play to advance economic equity, social progress, and sustainable development. The theme for Praxis 2024, Policies for a Better Tomorrow, channels this spirit. It reflects the precarious position in which we find ourselves today and the potential that good public policies can have on our tomorrow. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister, Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim, unfortunately, is unable to be with us today. He sends his warm regards and expresses his strong support for Praxis 2024. He wishes to emphasise that while public policy is the domain of the government, we as citizens are stewards of this country's future. In this regard, the Prime Minister is deeply committed to robust intellectual discourse that unearths innovative policy solutions for Malaysia, reflecting the Madani government's ethos of sustainability, equity and inclusivity. The Madani government is always open to constructive feedback and the Prime Minister will personally look towards hearing the outcomes of Praxis 2024. He remains eager to learn about the discussions and insights that will emerge from this gathering and looks forward to reviewing the recommendations that will be made by the distinguished participants here today. Now, as the country's premier think tank, ISIS Malaysia, has for more than four decades been committed to providing in-depth research, analyses and policy proposals on strategic international and domestic issues that affect the vital interests of the nation. As the Prime Minister's think tank established with an autonomous mandate, we are able to operate at arm's length from the government, offering critical and constructive viewpoints on matters of strategic relevance. In this regard, many of you will know that our efforts on the strategic and security fronts are anchored on the annual Asia-Pacific Roundtable, the 37th edition of which was just held in June. I am pleased to share that it was well received by the delegates, owing no small part to the participation of the Prime Minister, along with role players from the world over. Meanwhile, our work on public policies, since uh, public policies centre on praxis 2024 this year particularly, and since 2011, the annual Praxis Conference has been held to bridge the gaps between 
the anno between theory and practice. We do this by convening representatives of government, the private sector, academia, NGOs, civil society to engage in robust discussions on a wide range of policy issues. To secure greater impact, we have integrated and embedded our research and conference into the policy-making process into what has become known as the, quote-unquote, the praxis process. What this means is that while my opening remarks is the start of the Praxis 2024 conference, work had already started in the months leading up to this day. In some, we had convened numerous roundtables to pin down the most pertinent issues associated with our research sessions and to identify at the preliminary stage ways forward. With these discussions, including diverse perspectives from various sectors, ranging from government, the private sector, academia and civil society, we were able to capture a wide range of insights. All this has helped to form the scope of the research sessions that will be held over these two days. With this, we will be able to dedicate the research sessions to deliberating potential policy solutions. This allows us to ensure that the conversations that we have at Praxis 2024 are on point and impactful. Following this conference, the policy solutions put forward at research sessions will be combined with cutting-edge research and analyses from our researchers and knowledge partners and synthesized into succinct, actionable and pragmatic policy papers. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot and must not shy away from the fact that we are committed that these policy papers will be made publicly available for all. And we will also be delivering them to the desks of all stakeholders to advance better policy solutions for the country. Additionally, you will notice in the conference program that we have our spotlight sessions. These are designed to platform emerging issues evolving policy areas to kindle public engagement. These sessions lay the groundwork for more discussions and work in the future. While the vagaries of the future are unpredictable, the only certainty that we can rely on is our ability to plan for it. As such, we hope Praxis 2024 ignites critical thinking towards these pressing policy priorities. What will be the implications of increasing usage of generative AI in Malaysia's future of work and how can we prepare for it? How can we really achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions as early as 2050? How can we regulate social media platforms while steering clear of violating the fundamental liberty of free speech? And how can we respond to rising care needs by ensuring equitable provision of services for a growing population of elderly Malaysians? Over the next two days, let us deliberate on these important and timely questions and engage actively in all eight of the thought-provoking sessions. Let us all work collectively towards transforming our ideas and knowledge into solutions the drive malicious prosperity. As we convene today, I hope that the spirit of praxis will both ground and guide our discussions to empower bold and inclusive future forward action. To our partners, Conrad Edinor Stiftung, TikTok Malaysia, Tanaga National Burhabdi Communications and Multimedia Content Forum, My Aging and WWF Malaysia, we extend our heartfelt thanks for your generous continued contributions. Your support has been instrumental in allowing us to explore deeply these topics and to organize this conference successfully. Last but not least, thank you to you, our dear and respected delegates, your discerning and astute questions and um, insightful interventions throughout these two crucial days will ensure a lively and engaging conference. Thank you.